Above my couch in my living room is a vintage solar system mobile. Ooh. A guy visiting you is in for a great time. <laughs> even before he starts having a great time. <laughs> Cara Santa Maria, I shouldn't have to introduce her. Jenna knows who she is, I know who she is. I'm sure you know who she is. This is one of the most well-educated guests we have ever had. <laughs> Tell us, what are the degrees you hold? I actually, I have a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's of science, and I have a master's of science, but I actually dropped out before I got my PhD. <laughs> oh, would you please leave the, uh, we don't deal with dropouts. Right? So Jenna, we'll talk for We better sound smart during this why interview. Did, why did you drop out? So, you know, I got my I got my undergrad and my master's in Texas. Um, I was studying psychology and neurobiology. Oh, I better watch out what I say and how I act. I'm gonna get inside your head. Yeah. Um, and then I moved to New York to, to start a PhD in clinical neuropsychology, and I fell in love with somebody across the country. So how I could moved. wait a minute? You're in New York. How do you fall in love with someone across the country? You know we. We live in a global society now, and there are airplanes. No, what I and mean is, did you see pictures? You said <laughs> you fell in love. So was it a photograph you saw, or what? No, I, I visited. I would visit Los Angeles. Oh, so and, you weren't mm -hmm. stuck in New York. Well, no, I wasn't stuck. You see, you may have a degree, but I've got to tell you how to explain things. So <laughs> you were in New York, but one day you went across the country, and you met a fellow you fell in love with. See how easy it is? OK, go ahead. Beautiful. <laughs> no. Stan, can you tell the story of my life for me? <laughs> well, if you wish, wait, let, let me consult my cue cards. Well, you know, I actually <laughs> wanted to ask you about Talk Nerdy to Me. So how did this all start? Ah, long story. Let's try and we'll make, make it, it short. We'll make it a short story. Yeah, we'll try and <laughs> you know, make it short. Our, our visit, viewers have a hell of a shortage. <laughs> I'll make this easy on you. Bore them for one minute okay. and they switch that channel. Okay, so in New York, studying neuropsychology, fall in love with a boy, end up moving to LA, and when I got here, kind of realized, whoa, what am I gonna do with myself? <laughs> It was thinking about going back to school, um, but had some opportunities. You know, while I was living here, I did what I do best, which is nerd out about science. And well, just, what did the boy say? What did he want you to do? Well, he wanted me to be happy, and he, he would tell me all the time, what you do as an educator and as a scientist, I wish more people could, could hear what you have to say. And so in a way, he kind of guided me into basically just expanding the classroom. I always loved to teach. I was teaching in, in the college where I was um, working on my PhD. And so then I had a couple of opportunities to work on a couple of shows and basically expand the classroom. Eventually I ended up doing a pilot for HBO that was called Talk Nerdy That's to great. Me. Yeah, and, and- Wait a minute, didn't you do that with Bill Maher? I did that with Bill I Maher. I want to talk about Bill Maher, <laughs> but we'll get to that, we'll okay. get to that. I also, asked. I also did it with um, with these two um, guys, Max Lugavere and Jason Silva from Current TV, and with Chris Hardwick, who we all know wow. of, yes. right? Yes. Um, yeah, so it was really, really fun, and, and when I did that, it didn't end up getting picked up, but it opened up a lot of other opportunities. And then Ariana Huffington came to me and the said- The Huffington Post? Yes, at the Huffington Post and said, Cara, dear, I want this science page. Can you help me? And, and she invited me to do this video series, basically the talk nerdy to me idea, but to do it online. And occasionally you have guest stars on who are talking about girls in science. Mm -hmm. And so how would you encourage more women to get into the field of science? Yeah, women in STEM fields is really important to me. So when you hear the term STEM, it means science, technology, engineering, and math. And Everybody knows that. Uh, of course. <laughs> and there's a big initiative to see more women in STEM because there's a huge gender disparity. There's also a big um, disparity when it comes to ethnic minorities. So I also try to speak out about um, seeing more kind of African American and Latino people in STEM too. Um, and you know, th the way that I encourage it is really just through my actions more than anything. I do I, I do kind of speak at events and, and I like to talk to young girls and connect with them. And on Twitter and Facebook, I always answer every message. And I've had a lot of, you know, these great experiences where a 14 year old girl will email me on Facebook and say, I think I wanna be a scientist, do you have any advice? And I love that, you know, and so I always kind of keep in touch with them. But for the most part, it's just to see more people in the public eye that are doing it, you know? People like Danica McKellar, for example, who's become a, a friend of mine, who she is a champion of math. She's made math cool. How cool?
cool is that I to make math cool? You know, as a fun, young, kind of hot chick. Anyway, um, uh, tell me about Bill Maher. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to let you I, get back I, in I dig Bill Maher. Do you? Oh, man. Oh, I think he's the greatest. So what do you want to know? What a, what a plug we have given that. Our I two know, right? viewers will go out <laughs> and tell everybody they They'll know. watch his show every No, but how do you know him? How, how do, do I you know him? him? Yeah. Is he the guy you flew out to Los Angeles? Maybe. Really? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> See, that's the part people want to know, the I think romantic it is. part. It's the part that, and it's funny, because it's the part they probably already know. I don't usually talk about it, but it's the part that they probably already know. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty private about my private life, oh. but that is known. Most people already know that. So. They do? Yeah. Where yeah. have I been? All, it just takes a quick Google search. <laughs> all right, then yeah. after, right. after the show, we'll sit aside and you can tell me. Off all the about record. Because I want to be like all the other people. I want to know that. Oh, you'll know things. You'll but, know things that they don't get to know. But now that we, <laughs> now that we finished Bill Maher, uh -huh. mm -hmm. what, is, is there anything left to talk about? Oh, there is. There is. Anything else will I be have an empty climax? No, I have something because, no, this won't be, believe me, because oh. I know we've discussed this before. But I have a science question for you. Uh-oh. Why do men have nipples? Uh <laughs> I've been wondering Haven't all you? my life. I thought so. So when we go outside the box and, and stop thinking about it from an evolutionary perspective, but think about it from an embryonic perspective. I always do. I think about everything from <laughs> yes. embryonic it's, perspective. It's an important view. So, so in utero, while we're developing in the womb, before there is a concept of maleness or femaleness, before the hormones necessary to feminize or masculinize. Oh, they don't know if you're gonna be a male mm -hmm. or female, so we're playing it safe. Exactly, so we actually <laughs> develop nipples, we all develop nipples, before the certain portions of the Y chromosome turn on called the SRY gene. So before your the fetus is told to become male by its own genes, it's already developed a So nipples. why don't females develop little testicles? Because you don't know that <laughs> whether you're gonna be a male or a female. Well, what's funny is that if you look at the um, genital tissue of boys and girls, it's parallel. Yeah. The, the tissue can become one or the other. And you can even see certain regions are just like other regions in the male and the female. See, and you thought this was like any other interview show. Yeah, I hope I you're all here. taking know, notes right? and there'll be an exam after it's, it's over. Very racy, Stan. <laughs> very racy. That's my answer. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's over. Sarah, it is. I didn't <laughs> learn enough about Bill Maher. But we'll get to that. That's hey, off the record. Great seeing you, Kara. Good to Thanks see you for coming. Too. Thanks right. for having me. And you can have me on Revenge of the Nerds or whatever the hell that show is someday. <laughs> talk nerdy. Is that to the me. name? Talk, talk nerdy. Talk nerdy to, to me. Yeah. I knew the, the word nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excelsior. <laughs>